<laughs> Woohoo! Beach days are so potastic. We need to do these more often. You got it, Pandy. Pandy, toss the ball over here. Oh no! Whoa! My hat! What happened? The wind was so strong, it blew all our things away. Oh no! My pack and towel are missing. So is the shovel and bucket and the beach ball. And my hat. And my sunglasses. And my turntable. Our beach things must be around here somewhere. Let's look together. It'll be a beach day scavenger hunt. Great idea, Gabby. We'll find everything and bring it all back. Yeah, you know it. Where should we look first? That wind was pretty strong. Our things could be anywhere. Do you see any of our things? Look! There's Pandy's pack! My packy! Was anything else blown into the trees? Let's look! That's not a leaf! My beach towel! My turntable is pretty heavy. Let's look on the beach for it. Sure, DJ Catnip. I'm not seeing it. We haven't found it yet, but let's keep looking. Hey, that's my music. Follow that sound. There's my turntable. Yay! Hmm, do you think something could be hidden in that big pile of sand? Let's dig and see what we can find. We found the sand shovel! And the sand bucket! What's left to find? Oh, the beach ball! My hat! And my sunglasses! Do you see a beach ball, a hat, or sunglasses? The beach ball is behind you, Murcat. I'll be back in a tail flip. I don't see anything else around here. Let's go back. There's my hat. I got you. All right. Yay. I still can't find my sunglasses. Uh, cat rat? They've probably sunk to the bottom of the ocean by now. Cat rat? Or buried under a mountain of sand. Cat, cat rat. rat? What? Your sunglasses are on your head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that scavenger hunt was the bubbles. Thanks for helping us. See you next time. Hi, Pillow Cat. Hi, Baby Box. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Hi, Cat Rat. Hi, everyone. Pillow Cat, why did you want us to meet in the craft room instead of the bedroom for story time? Because our story involves royalty and magic, which means we need to make amazing crowns and magic wands before we start the story. Wow, that sounds awesome. A craft fit for the royal Cat Rat. I can help everyone with that. Let's give it a go. All right. Woohoo! Gotcha. <laughs> You'll need construction paper, safety scissors, tape, and markers. For your crown, use your safety scissors to cut a strip of paper to fit around your head. If your paper isn't long enough, tape strips together. To make crown points that stick up, Cut out triangle shapes and tape them to the back of your crown. Lay your crown flat on the table and decorate the front side however you like with markers, crayons, stickers, other shapes. You can use anything. Cure the ends of the paper strip with a piece of tape so it sits comfortably around your head. Your crown is finished. Doodles and doodads, all our crowns are different colors. It's a royal rainbow! <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to make our magic wands. 
you'll need a wooden stick. You can paint it whatever color you like. Purple. Orange. Green. Blue. And mine will be pink. Let the paint dry. In the meantime, you can cut out and decorate a shape to glue on the tip of your wand. The shape on the tip of your wand can be anything. A star, a heart, a triangle. I'm going to cut a circle shape and cover it with pom-poms. <laughs> Ooh, I love how soft the pom-poms feel, baby box. They remind me of clouds. I'm going to use white pom-poms for mine. Can I make mine a kitty face? Sure! I have a cat cookie cutter if you need help making the shape. Just trace the cookie cutter and then cut with your safety scissors. Thanks, baby box. Do we have any green paper, baby box? My wand topper is going to be a pickle. Great idea, Pandy. Here's some green paper. Awesome! I'm sticking with a star, but not just any star, a super shiny star. Once you're done decorating and the paint on your wand is dry, you're ready to glue the back of your shape to your wand. And you're finished making your magic wand. This story time is going to be so magical. Cat Rat will rule with super shiny magic. Pandy Pickle Power! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pandy. Thanks for helping us make our crowns and wands, baby box. It was my pleasure. I cast crafty magic on you, Queen Gabby. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, where's Gabby? Hug attack! <laughs> Hi, Gabby. I usually give you hug attacks. What a nice surprise. That's because it's opposite day. It's a day when you do something different or the opposite of how you would normally do it. I want to do something opposite too. But what? Let's see what the other Gabby cats are doing to get some ideas. Okay. Baby Box, I heard you were celebrating Opposite Day, too. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. <laughs> yeah, I'm painting my paintbrushes. Look, I gave this one stripes. Catastic creativity. Wait, you're painting the thing that you usually use to paint. That's funny. We should go to Cakey for more ideas. Bye, Baby Box. Thank you for showing us. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Gabby, Pandy, you're just in time for lunch. Want to share a big hamburger I just made for opposite day? Sure, Cakey. Whoa, that is a big burger. How is it for opposite day? I'll just cut it into three pieces. Look, it looks like a burger on the outside, but inside, it's a sweet, delicious, fluffy cake. Whoa! Amazing. Here, try some. Mmm, it's delicious. <gasps> I know what to do for opposite day. You do? We've seen things look and taste different, but what about sound different? I like where you're going with this. To the music room. Bye, Cakey. Bye, Cakey. Hey there, cat kitties. Like my opposite wordplay? <laughs> That's funny, catnip DJ. <laughs> DJ catnip? Will you help me with opposite day? Of course. How? I want things to sound different than they normally do. 
<laughs> yeah. Instead of that tuba sound, what if it sounded like, um, sounded like... Let's record Pandy playing the tuba, but the sound of Gabby playing the ukulele, and put them together. Awesome! Take this kitty camera and kitty recorder with you to capture video and record sounds. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Potastic DJ Catnip! We'll be back soon! <laughs> Can you make the sound of a train? Chugga, 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 choo choo! Awesome! Let's edit the video and show it to DJ Catnip. Let's see what opposite sounds you did for opposite day. Chugga 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 choo choo! Chugga 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 choo choo! Wow, Pandy, you were super creative with your opposite sounds. Give me a hot paw. Haha, <laughs> yeah! Dang, I like thinking about things in a different way. A fun new game! I'll hug a tag to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Hi, Pandy. Hi, Baby Box. Brr, it's a chilly winter day in the garden. Hi, Gabby. It is. So glad Baby Box and I made this super long scarf to keep warm. Wow. Do you want to help me build a snowman? Great idea. Yeah. Aw, but look. So much of the snow has already melted. Hmm, what if we built a snowman out of something other than snow? That sounds crafty terrific. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Yay! Hmm. What could we use that's like snow? Cotton balls. And what if our snowmen became snow kitties? Terrific. Let's get crafting. You'll need a piece of paper, pencil, safety scissors, glue, black sequins, and cotton balls. Then take a small bowl and use it to trace a small circle and a bigger bowl to trace your large circle. Now, cut out both circles with your safety scissors. Then glue them together. Now, glue a line at the bottom to attach your popsicle stick. The paper glued on a popsicle stick will be our base to build our snow kitties on. Can we work on my snow kitty together? Of course. I'll squeeze out the glue. Add glue and cotton balls to cover your snow kitty. And don't forget the kitty ears. It's so fluffy. Now for the eyes and mouth. Use glue to add black sequins. to make another one. Oh no! We used all the cotton balls to make my snow kitty. That's okay, Fandy. I want to build a rainbow snow kitty out of colorful pom-poms. Pom-poms and polka dots. That's a fantastic idea. I can't wait to see that. Let's craft it together. Rainbow snow kitty is ready to play with her friends. Oh no, I used all the pom-poms. That's okay, Gabby. I want my snow kitty to look like me. I'm making my snow kitty out of boxes. I need the two smallest boxes to make arms. Can you help us find the two small boxes? Here's one. And here's the other one. A smear of glue on each. Boop. Boop. Oh, 
Kitty. Let's go stand them up outside in the fairy tale garden. I love how different they all look. I love that we made them together. Oh, look! It's snowing! You know what that means. More snow kitties! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Pansy and I are going to play outside today. Can you help me find him? Oh, Pandy Paws! <laughs> oh, Pandy Paws! Hug attack! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pandy. Do you know what that colorful thing is in the bush? Wow! It looks like a giant egg! Is this a bird's nest? Oh, thank you, Gabby and Pandy! Hi, Kitty Fairy! Why are you thanking us? For finding my springtime flower seed! This is a seed? It's huge! Yes, these giant seeds sprout into huge, colorful springtime flowers! This seed will sprout into a flower! Her name is Pastel! Wow, I'd love to see these flowers bloom! Are there more seeds? <laughs> yes! There are two more big, colorful seeds somewhere in my garden! Will you help us look for the big, colorful seeds? Woohoo! Hmm, the seeds are big and round! Do you see the giant seed? It's in this tree! Ooh, shake the tree and I'll catch it! Shake, shake, shake! Ooh! <laughs> Aw, we found you, Speckles! Speckles? That's this one's name! What's the name of the third seed? Freckle! The last colorful seed has a freckle on it! Okay, we're looking for a big, colorful seed with a freckle. Let's find it! I don't see it anywhere! We haven't found the seed yet, but let's not give up. Do you see the seed with a freckle on it? The seed is on the roof of the dollhouse! I just had to look up! Thanks for your help! I'll get it! Hello, Freckle! Would you two like to help me plant the seeds and help them sprout in my new garden patch? Yes! Can I dig in the dirt? Of course! Let's go! Whew! There! That's three big holes for three really big seeds! Time to plant pastel, speckles, and freckle! Now let's cover them up with dirt! I'll help you, Gabby! One... Two... Three! Now with a little garden magic! Whoa! They're beautiful! Give a big garden magic welcome to Pastel! Speckles and Freckle! Nice to meet you all! Thanks for helping us find the seeds! See you next time! Bye! Bye, Bye! See you later! Oh, wow! Look at these trees! I love when the leaves turn colors before they fall off! Whoa! It's windy! Wow! I can't see! Oh, no! Where's Pandy? Do you see him? <laughs> Hug it, Dad! Here I am, Gabby! Where's Cat Rat? I'm here! Woo! What happened? <sighs> it's the changing of the seasons! Hi, Kitty Fairy! Hi, Gabby! Hi, Pandy! Hi, Cat Rat! You're just in time to see all the trees shed their fall leaves and prepare for winter! You've already helped me so much by raking the leaves into piles! That wasn't us! That was the wind! We'd love to help, Kitty Fairy! Yeah! Raking leaves sounds like fun! Very amazing! Thank you, everybody! I'll go grab our rakes! Let's begin! Hey, look! I made a pop ring! <laughs> I made a peekaboo kitty! Cat Rat, what are you making? I'm making the biggest pile of leaves I've ever seen. It'll be as tall as a tree! 
Baby box, pom poms, and polka dots. What pretty leaves! Oh, could I have some for a craft? That way I can look at them all year round. Of course! What a lovely leafy idea, baby box! Yes, take as many leaves as you want. I'd love to see leaves in pretty colors all year round. I could make them rainbow too. Oh, good idea, Gabby! Let's get crafty. You can paint your leaves however you want. Just take your paint and brush it on the leaf. Use soft brush strokes to protect your leaf. My leaf's going to be blue like my fur. Ha-cha! I'm painting squiggly lines on mine. <laughs> I painted my leaves the color of the rainbow. Take a look. Oh, wait. I'm missing a color. Do you know the colors of the rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. What color am I missing? Red! I need to paint a red leaf! <laughs> there! I'm done! Once the paint is dry, we can hang them up and look at them all year round! Whoa! <laughs> I got some paint on me! <laughs> me too! It blends in so well with my fur! Looks like we weren't just painting leaves, we were painting ourselves! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! Cat-tastic! We're making a cat-tastic groove! Keep playing, <laughs> kitty cats! Glitterific! Hacha! Is something wrong, Baby Box? Oh no, I just don't have a lot of practice playing the tuba! You know what we say, practice makes better! Give it a try! Mmm, I'll just stick to crafting. Maybe I could add pom-poms to the tuba? Woohoo! Yay! It's snack time! We're going to take a break from playing. Hmm, hey, after snack time, can you all gather everyone and meet me back here? I have a surprise. Ooh, a surprise? Sure, DJ Catnip. Fantastic! <laughs> Everyone's here. Awesome! I thought today we'd do something special and play a game called Change Your Tune. We're going to do something different that we've never done before. That's a whale of an idea! We'll each draw a new activity from the box and then do it. Kiki and I will wash a muddy ducky and bring it to a dance party. Right and play music! Twinkling tide pools, that will be a first for me! Make up a dance and dance in front of everybody! Craft a wind chime! I could hang that in my garden! Water and sing to a flower to make it bloom! Take everyone's smoothie order and make the smoothies in the kitchen! That makes sense, because I have to quickly deliver the smoothies to everyone! Alright, the game is called Change Your Tune! Let's begin! We need to get you clean! Look at that! <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle! Just roll with it! <laughs> Ta-da! Oops! Grow, flower, grow, bloom and say hello! Woohoo! Mercat wanted blueberry and Cat Rat wanted a strawberry smoothie. Or was it the other way around? Ah! Ah! Beep beep! Smoothie delivery! Oh no! Hey, there are two more Change Your Tune activities in here. Oh! One for me and one for you! 
play the tuba. Oh, Snippet, I tried that and failed. I failed fantastically at my task, Baby Box, but I still had fun doing something new. It's just about trying. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'll try. Big breath. <gasps> I did it! <laughs> Go, Baby Box! Woohoo! Boogie on over here, give me a high paw. Now, you get your activity. Oh, yeah. Draw a picture of your friend playing the tuba. <laughs> Let's go, baby box. It's me and you. It's a dancing, tuba playing, drawn, smoothie drinking party. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, yeah! <laughs> that was a big rain we just had. The rain made a big rainbow appear in the garden. Whoa! It's so pretty! I love rainbows! Me too! That's why I wish it would stay as long as possible! Pandy, that gives me an idea. Meet me in the craft room and bring some friends. Okay, Gabby. See you soon! I brought Murkat and Cakey! <laughs> Hello! Hey! Hi, everyone! Kitty Fairy loves rainbows, but they don't last forever, so I thought we'd make our own rainbows to give to her. Pom-poms and polka dots! That sounds exciting! Can we do any kind of craft to make a rainbow? Sure, but it doesn't have to be a craft. It's anything that reminds Kitty Fairy of a rainbow. Rainbow everything! That's a whale of an idea! Let's all meet in the garden with our rainbow things and surprise Kitty Fairy! Yeah! See you soon! See you later! Do you have beads, Baby Box? Doodles and doodads! I've got lots of beads! You're welcome to use them! Are you making a craft too? Yeah! I want to make a rainbow wind chime for Kitty Fairy! Ooh! Can I help you make it? Sure, Pandy! I have this paper cup to get us started! Let's get crafting! I need a white paper cup, paint and paint brushes, colorful string, beads, a hole punch, and a pencil. I want my cup to have rainbow colors, so I'm going to paint it. Let that dry and then poke a hole in the bottom of your cup. Punch holes near the edge of your cup. Now my favorite part, thread string through each hole and make a knot so it stays put as you string beads. Oh yeah! I love beads! I can help! Thanks, Pandy. Be sure to make a knot at the bottom of the string when you're done putting beads on so they don't fall off. Using all four strings, make a loop and then tie a knot so you can hang up your wind chime. Now your wind chime is all done and ready to flow in the breeze. How cool is that? Our wind chime is rainbow-tastic! Whoa, baby box! Those pipe cleaners are big! Will you help me make my craft in the garden? I want to make a rainbow archway! Of course! Fantastic! <laughs> We made it together! Shimmering sea scales! Look at that! I made soap bubbles! You can see rainbows when the light reflects off the bubbles! Look! Wow! I brought cupcakes decorated with rainbow-colored frosting! <laughs> Gabby and I made a rainbow wind chime! Let's surprise Kitty Fairy! A bubble? Where's that coming from? <gasps> wow! Look at all these pretty rainbow colors! Now 
You can always have a rainbow around, Kitty Fairy. Really? What a very amazing idea! Thanks, friends! Yay! Rainbow everything! Rainbow <laughs> Hi, Pillow Cat! Hi, Gabby! Hi, Pandy! Hi, Cat Rat! Those cupcakes look catacular! Cakey just made a fresh batch! Would you like a cupcake? Sure! How about a story time with those cupcakes? I'd love that! Yeah! Story time! Hmm, what character will the cat rat play today? Today's story is Little Red Riding Gabby. Sounds like I better go dress up. Hi, dress up closet. May we come in? I'm ready! I'm Little Red Riding Gabby. I have this silly hat. And I'm the big bad chicken. Buck, buck. All right, coodle up. This is the story of Little Red Riding Gabby. Once upon a time, Little Red Riding Gabby set out into the woods to visit her friend, Pandy. Pandy is going to love these cupcakes from Cakey. But Little Red Riding Gabby didn't realize someone else had a sweet tooth. Cupcakes? Mmm, those are sweets I'd happily eat. Gabby will be here any minute. We're going to play so many games together, it'll be podcastic. Buck, buck! Huh? That's not the sound of my doorbell. It sounds like a chicken. Hello? Chicken? Hello? Chicken? <laughs> when Little Red Riding Gabby gets here, I'm going to eat all the cupcakes. And the big bad chicken waited for Little Red Riding Gabby to enter. Hello, Pandy. I didn't know Pandy got a chicken. <laughs> Chickens don't eat cupcakes. No cupcakes for you, little chicken. No, no, no. Buck, buck. Hi, Gabby. Buck, buck. Buck, buck. Looks like that chicken wants cupcakes. Buck, buck, yes! But chickens don't eat cupcakes. Cakey wanted us to eat them right away. All right, let's eat. Mmm. <laughs> okay, maybe just a little bit. A crumb? Okay, okay, I'm not a chicken. It's me, Cat Rat. Cat Rat? It is you! Thanks for dropping by, Cat Rat! I saw Gabby bringing sweets and wanted one for myself. No need for a disguise. I'll share a cupcake with you. Yeah, Cakey made plenty of sweets. I love a happy ending. Thank you! And so the three shared the delicious cupcakes and lived happily ever after. The end. Woo! Yay! <laughs> Thanks for listening! Hi, Murcat. Here's the sugar you asked for. What are you making? Hi, Cakey. We're about to make a special scrub for our spa party. It's going to be a spa-tastic day. I'll put the sugar over here with the other sugar scrub ingredients. Thank you. Now we have everything to make our spa sugar scrub. Sugar, coconut oil, mint leaves, and... <gasps> what is it, Murcat? I forgot the lemons! We could make the sugar scrub without them, but lemons smell so fresh and spa-tastic! Pandy and I can get lemons from the fairy tale garden. Oh, that would be wonderful! To the fairy tale garden! La, 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 la. <laughs> Hi, Kitty Fairy! Hi, Gabby! Hi, Pandy! It's another flowerific day in my garden. That's great to hear, Kitty Fairy. Could we have some lemons to make a sugar scrub for Murcat's spa party? Of course. The fruit trees are just over there. Thanks, Kitty Fairy. Here are the fruit trees. Hmm. Which one is the lemon tree? Do you know which tree is the lemon tree? Lemons are yellow. Is this the lemon tree? No, this is an apple tree. The apples on it are red. Is this a lemon tree? No, this is an orange tree. And oranges are orange. So, which tree is the lemon tree? 
You're right! This is the lemon tree! Yeah! Got it! Great jump, Pandy! Let's take these back to Mercat! Woohoo! You found lemons! Now we can make our lemon mint sugar scrub! Here's how we make it! Combine half a cup of sugar with a quarter cup of coconut oil and stir! The lemon peel smells the most lemony! If you want to smell like a fresh lemon, add some lemon peel to the mixture! into our hands. It feels so good. Ooh, it smells so good too. Now let's rinse it off. Our skin will feel super soft. And then close the jar lid tight for the spa party later. I'm ready for the spa party. It smells so fresh in here. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's raining women. Hi, Mercat. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Looks like the rubber duckies are having lots of fun. <laughs> lots of muddy fun. Yes, the rubber duckies are splish splashing in a mud bath. But now playtime is over and it's time to clean up. <gasps> oh, fish scales. It looks like I've run out of soap. That's okay. I'll make some more to clean the duckies. <gasps> Would you like to help me make soap bars? Three bars are better than one. Yeah. We'd love to. It's my first time making soap. Well, you're in for a spa-tastic surprise. It's not just any soap. It's a kitty soap bar made from a bubble bath mixture. Ooh, kitty soap. I can't wait. Let me show you how. You'll need measuring cups, bubble bath soap, cornstarch, soap coloring, and a cookie cutter. Measure a half cup of bubble bath soap. And one cup of cornstarch into a microwave-safe bowl. Then mix both ingredients together. Ask an adult to help you put the bowl in a microwave and heat it up for 30 seconds. Then mix again. Dump the mixture out onto parchment paper and knead the mixture until it feels like dough. Like pizza dough? Or bread dough? Yes, exactly! And if it still feels sticky, add a bit more cornstarch to it. Oh, now it's time to color your soap! But first, put on gloves so the color doesn't stain your hands. Then divide your soap into pieces based on how many colors you want to make. I see the colors pink, blue, green, and yellow. How many colors is that? Pink, blue, green, and yellow. Four! That's four colors! So we need to divide our soap mixture into four pieces. Add a different color to each piece. Then knead the color in until it's fully combined with your soap dough. Now squish your soap balls together and then roll out with a rolling pin. Squishing the different colored soap balls together creates a tie-dye effect. It's time to cut out our shapes. 
Let's use this kitty cutter to make our kitty soap bars. Cute. And I love how the soap is more than one color. Let the soap dry on a flat surface for 24 hours. That means after a full day, your kitty soap bars will be ready. We each have a kitty soap bar for us to clean a rubber ducky. Time to get clean, duckies. Bubble up, it's sudsy time. <laughs> Twinkling tide pools, you three are so squeaky clean now. We still have soap. Are there any muddy prints left? Do you see any muddy prints? Here's one on the floor. Here's a muddy print. Do you see any more muddy prints? Just one more on the wall. <laughs> Thanks for your help. We did it! Fishtail 5! Yeah! Woohoo! Thanks to a meowzing kitty soap bars. Next time I'm going to make a soap bar that looks like my face! <laughs> Gabby, Pandy, I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Kiki. You needed our help with something? Yes, we're counting down to New Year's Eve, and I still need to make confetti cookies for tonight's party. Confetti? You can't eat confetti. Not that kind of confetti. It's sprinkles hidden inside a cookie. Surprise confetti cookie! I love surprises. We'll help you make the cookies, Cakey. <laughs> Hooray! Let's bakey with Cakey. But first, roll out the cookie dough. You need three layers of cookies. We need to cut out the same size circles. Yeah! Cookie cutting! You can cut them out, Pandy. <laughs> Woohoo! Before we bake these cookies, we take our smaller circle cookie cutter and cut out a hole in the middle of the bigger circle. Like a donut! Yeah! And now we bake these cookies! Once they're baked and cooled from the oven, we can assemble our New Year confetti cookies! The normal cookie goes on the bottom, and the donut-looking cookie goes on top of that one. Stick them together with white icing. Then put sprinkles in the middle! The sprinkles are my favorite part. Mine too! Pour some sprinkles into the hole in the middle. And then seal in the sprinkles with another cookie. And now we can decorate the top layer. I'm just using white icing so I can use my colorful icing to decorate once it's dry. Draw whatever you want on top of the icing. I'll decorate mine to look like a party hat. Look at that! I love fireworks on New Year's, so I'm going to decorate my cookie to look like fireworks. Uh, meowzing! Mine's going to have party streamers and confetti! Terrific! Woohoo! Yay! And that's how you make confetti cookies! I can't wait to break open the cookie when we count down to the new year! Let's make a few more for all our friends! Great idea! Everyone will get a surprise! Yay! Yay! New Year's Eve is the best! Hacha! Time to celebrate! It's time for the countdown! Does everybody have their confetti cookie? I have mine right here! Yum! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh boy! Delicious! Very fantastic! Count down to the new year with us! Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, three, two, one! Happy New Year! Oh. Confetti wow. Cookie Sprinkle Party! I am jamming to this New Year's surprise! Yay! <laughs> Where's Cat Rat? He told us to meet him here. Hmm. <laughs> Gabby, look! Hey, 
It's from Cat Rat. It says, let's play together. Find me by following my clues. What clues? What's this? This is a connect the dots game. How do you play? There are numbers on the paper. Draw a line to each number in order connecting the dots. The lines will make an image. Let's connect the dots together. Count with us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This looks like a tuba. Cat Rat must be in a place where there's a tuba. What room in the dollhouse has musical instruments? That's right, the music room. Let's go. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. What's shaking? Hi, DJ Catnip. We are looking for Cat Rat. Hmm, sorry, kitty cats. I haven't seen him. I've been playing new tunes on the piano. Oh, this is so hard. It's okay, Pandy. We just haven't found him yet. But we're not giving up. Maybe there's another clue by the tuba. <laughs> Let's find the tuba. Do you see a tuba anywhere? Here's the tuba! There's a crumpled up piece of paper inside. Let's open it. It's another connect the dots game. Count along with us as we connect the dots. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a seashell. What room in the dollhouse has seashells in it? The bathroom. To the bathroom. Good luck finding Cat Rat. Hi, Mercat. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. We're trying to find Cat Rat, and he left us a clue here. We think it's in a seashell. Twinkling tide pools, I hope you find it. Go ahead and look around. Seashell, seashell. What about the seashell mirror? I'm not seeing anything. Oh! Woohoo! Good job, Pandy. Let's see what the next clue is. This game of Connect the Dots is with letters of the alphabet. You connect the dots in alphabetical order starting with A. Let's say them as we draw. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Hmm, where would this teapot be? Kitty Fairy loves to have tea parties in the garden. Let's check there. Okay. Thanks for letting us look around, Mercat. Sure. Have a spectacular day. Hey. Hi, Kitty Fairy. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Uh, is it okay if we look inside your teapot? Sure. But I haven't put anything in it yet. Hmm. No clue. That's because you found me. <laughs> Good game, Cat Rat. Of course, you can't spell game without M-E. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming out to meet me. Are you ready to play a game of soccer? Yes, I've never played soccer before, and I'm excited to learn. You've never played before? Well, then this is going to be so fun. Oh, I didn't know you've never played, Gabby. I'll teach you. You don't need to teach me. I'm a pro at soccer. Come get me when you're ready to play. I'll be warming up. <laughs> I love kicking the ball. Then let's get started. I brought a lot of sports balls to play with today. This is the ball we use for soccer. You can kick it up and down the field, staying within the boundaries. Boundaries? The field is made up of shapes that you need to play inside of. It's a giant rectangle with two smaller rectangles at each end. Oh, I see now. Those rectangles each have a goalpost that you kick the ball into to score. And the circle is where you kick off. Ooh, ooh, could you kick off by throwing the ball into the air? Sure, I'll rev the game up, Carlita style. Woohoo! Yay! Players, get ready. Start! Here, Cat Rat. Whoa, got it. 
In soccer, you're not supposed to touch the ball with your hands. Oh, right, I knew that. <laughs> Play ball. I'm going for it. Goal! Almost there, Cat Rat. In soccer, you have to hit the ball into the goal, not over it. Okay, I've never played soccer before either. I just wanted to sound like I knew what I was doing. That's okay, Cat Rat. We'll learn together. Or we can make up new rules. What if we called it Gabby Ball? And if you want to use your hands, you have to make up a new word as you pick the ball up. Cat Tackety! Ah, uh, shiny miny? <laughs> Snacky attacky! That's a creative new rule, Gabby. Now try getting the ball into the goal. Pass the ball to Gabby, Cat Rat. Like this? Yes, just like that. Great job. Here, Pandy. Take the shot, Cat Rat. Oh, rats, I broke the rules again. You didn't break them, Cat Rat. In fact, you've given me an idea for a new Gabby ball rule. I did? You just landed a kitty fairy goal. You made it look like the ball was flying just like kitty fairy. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew I was good at this game. <laughs> I like your catitude. Let's keep playing. Heads up! Sardini Mini! Super duper Kiard! <laughs> uh, dollhouse doodle yums? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Baby bugs. Hi, Merka. What are you making? Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. We crafted an ocean and are making fishies to swim in it from Cakey's Cupcake Wrappers. Just adding the sparkles. Wow, that's creative. I see you still have a cupcake left over. <laughs> you can have it, Pandy. Um, yum, yum, yum. Mmm, yum. Can we craft something sparkly too? Great idea! Let's get crafting! Lots of fish in the ocean! Let's dive in! can get messy. Thank <laughs> you. 
we're in the ocean at night. Oh, boy! <gasps> Woohoo! <laughs> Look at that! And all the fish shimmer in the moonlight. I'm going for a ride on my turtle. Let me clean myself up. Now I'm ready for tea with the shark. I'm in school. Huh? What? School? Swimming with a school of fish? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Cakey. How are you doing on the cake for Baby Box's birthday? Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. I loved making this cake. I just put it in the oven to bake. Anything we can do to help? We just need to wait for the cake to bake. Wrinkles, I sure hope it's ready in time for the party. I have an idea. We'll keep Baby Box busy crafting until the cake is done. Great idea, Gabby. See you soon, Cakey. Happy birthday, Baby Box! Happy birthday, Baby Box! Thank you! <laughs> we wanted to do your favorite thing for your birthday. Make a craft! That sounds crafty -rific. Ooh! How about making a birthday cake out of paper? A cake craft? Pom-poms and polka dots! I'd love to do that! I want to make one, too! Paper cake? I'm in! I love a good cake craft! Let's build them together! You'll need construction paper, a ruler, safety scissors, glue, a pencil, tissue paper, and a hole punch. Start by cutting a chunky strip of paper. That will determine how big and tall your cake is. Then use a ruler to fold up just a little of the long sides of your paper. Like this. Use safety scissors to make little cuts along those two folded parts. And now take your trusty glue bottle and glue the ends of your paper together. We're ready to cut out the circles that go on the top and bottom of our cake. Place your cake on top of another piece of paper. Trace a circle and cut it out. Cut out another circle the exact same size. You'll also need to punch a hole in the middle of one circle. Glue your circles on the top and bottom of your craft by putting the glue on the little fringe you cut earlier. The circle with the punched hole will be the top of your cake. Now we can add the decorations. Let's start with the icing, which is tissue paper with little cuts on the edges. Cut a long strip of tissue paper and then fold that in half lengthwise, like a hot dog. Bring the ends of the strip together and cut the edges of the paper. Be careful not to cut all the way through the folded side. Now decorate your craft cake with the tissue paper icing. Glue the tissue paper on the top and bottom. Make more if you run out. Decorate your cake however you like. I'm gluing a happy birthday sign to mine that I drew. Now let's make a candle. Roll a bit of paper and secure with glue. Then glue a bit of yellow tissue paper on top. That's your candle's flame. Yay! Look at that! <laughs> <Woo> <laughs> Doodles and doodads! These all look amazing! <laughs> this cake craft looks so real, you could eat it. That's because it is real cake. <laughs> happy birthday, baby box. Let's all sing happy birthday on the count of three. Will you sing with us? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to baby box. Happy birthday to you! Oh, thanks everyone! What a sweet and crafty rhythmic birthday! Oh, I almost forgot one more thing for your birthday! A sprinkle party! <laughs> Thank you for letting me, Pandy, and Baby Box camp out in your garden, Kitty Fairy! You're welcome, Gabby! It's fun to stargaze with friends! Let's lie down and look up at the sky! Wow! Look at all the stars! 
They sparkle in the sky like glitter. Ooh. Awesome! So pretty! Oh, no! I can't see the stars through the clouds. I guess that's the end of our stargazing. We can still stargaze by making our own stars. What do you mean by that, Baby Box? Come with me to the craft room. To the craft room! Ooh, star-tastic! How do you make stars? I'll show you. Let's get crafting. For this craft, all you need is a flashlight or any light source, a hole puncher or pencil, and a piece of paper. I want to use a black piece of paper to look like the night sky. My hole puncher has a star shape, but any hole punch will do. Wowzers! Flowerific! Ooh! Potastic! Awesome. You can even use a pencil to poke holes in your paper. Make the holes wherever you like. It's supposed to look like a night sky full of stars. In a lit room, hold your paper and shine your flashlight down over it. Do you see the shadow stars on the table? You can shine your shadow stars on a wall or ceiling. If you want your stars to be bright, then turn off all the lights in the room and hold your flashlight close to your paper. Then the light will shine through your stars and you've made a starry night sky. Let's try out our craft by shining our flashlights through the paper and onto the walls of the room. All right, stargazers, let's give it a go. Let's turn our flashlights on at the count of three. One, two, three. Yay! Shadow stars. Yay! It worked! We're superstars! <laughs> Thanks for helping us stargaze on a cloudy night, baby box. Hey, look! Doodles and doodads! A shooting star! Whoa! It's a shower of shooting stars! Ooh! We saw stars in two very amazing ways! And this sleepover gets a gold star! Good night! Bye! <gasps> look! <laughs> <This is fun. laughs> Yahoo! Thank you for letting us help with your garden, Kitty Fairy. Yeah, it's so fun to take care of the plants. You're welcome, Gabby and Pandy. We're going to plant special seeds to celebrate a special day. What special day? It's Rainbow Kitty Day. Oh, wow. Rainbows are my favorite. How do we celebrate, Kitty Fairy? It's a day all about the colors of the rainbow. I've planted all different types of flowers to celebrate. If we cover the seeds with dirt and water them, we can watch them grow together. They're amazing! And now, with a little garden magic... Awesome! Wow, they're so colorful! I have an idea! Why don't we make rainbow flower bouquets to give to all our friends for Rainbow Kitty Day? Great idea, Gabby! Thanks, Fandy! Kitty Fairy, could you show us how to make a bouquet? Sure thing! <laughs> To make rainbow bouquets, you need one flower of each color of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Oh, we're missing a color. What color flower do we need for our rainbow bouquet? You're right. A yellow flower. Now we have all the colors of the rainbow in our bouquet. Could I make a cat-shaped rainbow bouquet? Great idea, Pandy. I'm going to start by taking three different colors and arranging them in the shape of a cat's face. Then I'll take the other flowers and make eyes and a nose. Add flowers on either side at the top of the bouquet to make kitty ears. That's how you make a cat-shaped rainbow bouquet. Hmm, these rainbow bouquets smell florific. I'll gather everyone into the garden. Let's hide with the bouquets so it will be an even bigger surprise. You got it, Gabby. Over there, let's go. A uh, meowsing. <laughs> Hong Kong, we're here. Oh, where are Gabby and Pandy? Maybe they're playing hide and seek? Hmm. Hi, everyone. Happy, Happy Rainbow, Rainbow Kitty, Kitty Day. Day. <gasps> Twinkling tide pool, these are gorgeous. I love the colors. We wanted to make these for all our friends who are different and special in their own way, just like the colors of the rainbow. 
Rainbows are very amazing! And so is friendship! That's right, Kitty Fairy! You helped us grow the seeds into these pretty rainbow flowers! Hmm, <laughs> they smell great, too! Don't forget your bouquet, Kitty Fairy! Thank you! Beautiful bouquet! But, uh, since I mentioned hide-and-seek, can we play, please? Sure, Cat Rat! And I can hide this time! Of course, Cat Rat! Let's all play! Gabby and I will count to ten! All right, kitty cats, we need to hurry and hide! Ha-cha! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for helping us make the rainbow bouquets! Happy Rainbow Kitty Day! <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Yay! All right! <laughs> Fantastic! Awesome, kitty cats! The music in you is unstoppable! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> DJ Catnip's dance parties are awesome! What a fantastic way to get groovy! <sighs> hi, Pillow Cat! Oh, hi, everybody! Would you like to dance with us, Pillow Cat? Mm, I'm not sure, Gabby. I just woke up from a nap, but I don't feel well rested at all. Oh no! Well, I'm sure there's a way we can help. After all, helping others is a way to show you care about them. What would you like us to do, Pillow Cat? Well, I'm not sure what would help. That's okay. Let's try to find something that makes you happy together. Come on! Cakey's rootin' for you, Pillow Cat! I'm about to play another song, Pillow Cat. Try dancing along to the beat. I'll roll with it. I like your catitude. All right, here we go. Check out this move. Wow, well, this is pretty fun. Way to go, Pillow Cat. Whoa, that was a lot of dancing. It sure was, Pandy. Do you feel better, Pillow Cat? A little bit. That's great, Pillow Cat. And I have another idea. Follow me to the bathroom. Usually, soaking in my bathtub or trying out a new spa treatment helps me relax. Why don't we all try a soothing spa party? Woohoo! Spa party! Yes, let's please. go! Sure, I'll try it out. Woohoo! Ah! Spectacular! Ah! This is relaxing. When you're finished in the tub, roll on the towel to get dry. <laughs> These cucumbers are so relaxing. Would you like some? Oh, yes, please. Oh, how refreshing. That feels catastic. Oh, I guess I must be really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I can help with that. Follow me. <laughs> Yummy snacks always fill me with energy. I made these for after our dance party for everyone to enjoy. What did you make, Cakey? Sandwiches! Oh, boy! Mmm, these are delicious, Cakey. Aw, thank you. Mmm, yum. Um, may I have another? Yes, of course. I'm glad you like them. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, I feel so much better now. But what helped me? The dancing? The spa? The sandwich? Maybe it was all three. And being around friends who care always makes me feel better. Really? Aw, oh, of course. And we care about you, Pillow Cat. Oh, thank you for your help. Everyone, koodle up for a big hug. Hugs! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> DreamWorks Gabby Stallhouse. Over here, Gabby! Meowsers! That wind is really strong! Hi, everyone! Hi, Kitty Fairy! Have you seen the kitty clouds? The wind is blowing them toward us! Kitty clouds? What are those? <laughs> Look up and you'll see them! Meow! Oh, possum! They're super fluffy! Now those are some catastic clouds! <gasps> oh, wow! Kitty clouds love to make shapes! Looks like they're doing it now! Do you know what shape the kitty clouds made? A 
triangle. That's right. Oh, they're moving again. What shape did the kitty clouds make now? A star! It's amusing how one cloud can take on many different shapes. What kind of shape is that? Clouds can look like different objects to different people. Let's use our imagination and say what we see. Hmm, I think it looks like a giant pickle. Yeah! I think it looks like a mud puddle in my garden. I see my kitty Floyd napping on his cat bed. See how he's stretched out? I see that. I also see me as a giant cloud. Cloud cat rat, ha-cha! What shape do you see in the kitty clouds? You have an amusing imagination. I can see that too. Ooh, there's the wind again. Oh no, I wanted to look at kitty clouds for longer. Yeah. Cloud cat rat is breaking apart. Oh no, is there anything we can do? What if I gave us all fairy wings so we could fly up and move the clouds back? Great idea, kitty fairy. Let's put cloud cat rat back together. <laughs> Whoa! To the kitty clouds! <laughs> Everyone grab a kitty cloud and mush them into shape. Great thinking, Gabby! This way, kitty cloud! How does it look, cat rat? It looks sort of like me. I know! Let's use the kitty clouds to give it eyes, a nose, and a mouth! Look! Those great kitty clouds are floating by! Let's use those! Yay! Eyes! A nose! And a mouth! That's it! That's me! I want to see too! They're amazing! <gasps> Look at that! Bye, kitty clouds! Wasn't that fun? With just your imagination, you can do so many catastic things, like find shapes in the sky. Hey, I see more kitty clouds floating over there. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Carlita. Hi, Gabby. Hey, Pandy. Are you two ready? Sure, Carlita. Ready for what? Cat Rat and I set up an obstacle course. It's for everyone to get up and move their feet. Here's what you do. You go on the seesaw, down the slide, and weave in and out of three orange cones. Wait, where are the cones? Hmm, maybe we should check around the dollhouse and ask if anyone knows. Great idea, Cat Rat. I was so excited to play, I may have left the cones somewhere. We'll help you find them, Carlita. We can search the whole dollhouse. Beautiful bumpers, thank you. Hey there, kitty cats. Hi, DJ Catnip. We're looking for traffic cones that Carlita may have left behind. Go ahead and look. I'm just cleaning up the music room before going to the obstacle course. The traffic cones are orange and shaped like a triangle. Do you see something orange and shaped like a triangle? Here it is! Great! Let's search another room. See you soon, DJ Catnip. All right, I'll start warming up. Hi, Kiki. Hi, Pandy. Hi, Gabby. I'm making carrot snacks for the obstacle course. What's up? These look delicious, Kiki. They also look a lot like Carlita's missing traffic cones. Any chance you've seen one? Traffic cone? Oh! Does this belong to somebody? Carlita is looking for three orange traffic cones. We've now found two. So that leaves one more for us to find. Maybe Mercat will know. Good luck! Kiki's rooting for ya! Woohoo! Hi, Mercat! Hi, Gabby! Hi, Pandy! I'm finishing up my special spa treatments before going to the obstacle course. Awesome! We're looking for Carlita's missing traffic cone. Any chance you've seen it? Hmm, I don't think so. There we go. I'll help you look. 
The traffic cones are orange. Do you see anything orange? <gasps> Twinkling tide pools, here it is! Among my potion bottles! Fantastic! Let's get these three cones back to Carlita! Bye! See you later! Beep beep! You're back! Wow! That was fast! Thanks, Gabby! Thanks, Pandy! Hey, cool cats! Hello! Hey! Alright! Let's get our move on! You can play with us! Jump with us! <laughs> Slide with us! Woohoo! Yay! Yay! <laughs> now, run and weave with us! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 spectacular! Way to get up and play, everyone! Okay, guys, and now we finish with a healthy snack! I made sure there weren't any more traffic cones in the basket. Thanks, Cakey. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pillow Cat. Wow, that's a big book. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Hi, Cat Rat. This is a picture book for my story time game. A story time game? Whatever that is, it sounds potastic. Yeah, how do we play, Pillow Cat? Today, I'm going to read this story aloud. And when I point to something in the book, you have to tell me what it is. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. Play along with us. All right. Coodle up, everyone. Once upon a time, there was a kitty made out of snow. A snow kitty. Snow Kitty was friends with Gabby the Snow Girl. <laughs> that does look like me. <laughs> One day, Gabby the Snow Girl and Snow Kitty were playing in the fairy tale garden when Gabby the Snow Girl lost her nose, which was a... Kiki uses that vegetable all the time. An orange vegetable? What could that be? Do you know? It's a carrot. Correct! Snow Kitty and Gabby the Snow Girl looked all around the garden for the missing carrot nose. They looked by the chair, under the bush, and around the... What's that a picture of? Oh, I know, I know! It's a tree! Yes! They looked all around the tree, but didn't find the carrot. Although, they did find a hole in the ground filled with acorns. Suddenly, it began to snow. All of the snowflakes were blue and white. But then, some of the snowflakes were orange. These orange snowflakes were actually bits of carrot. They looked up to see a... Hmm, what animal is that? Do you know? It's a squirrel! Snow Kitty and Gabby the Snow Girl saw the squirrel eating the carrot nose. Gabby the Snow Girl offered the acorns she found in the hole as a trait for the squirrel. The squirrel dropped the carrot and took the nuts. Snow Kitty picked up the carrot and brought it back. Gabby the Snow Girl was so happy. Thank you for bringing back my nose. Gabby the Snow Girl put back on her carrot nose. The end. That was a catastic way to tell a story, Pillow Cat. Yeah, I liked the part when Snow Kitty helped his friend by bringing back her carrot nose. And it made me think that I'm hungry for some... Carrots! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Baby Box. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Candy. Would you like to make a craft with me today? Yes. Actually, we're hoping you have a crafty, rific bookmark idea that we can make together. I want to save my place in this possum book. Pom poms and polka dots. I know how to make a bookmark. Fantastic! Let's get crafty. To get started, we need an index card, glue stick, safety scissors, colored pencils, and stickers, or any other decorations you might want to use. How should we decorate them, baby box? Any way you want. I'm definitely going to use these googly eyes. 
First, we'll cut our index cards in half so they're long and skinny, like a bookmark. Then draw your design. <laughs> I'm going to make a panty bookmark. The googly eyes. You just need a dot of blue to glue your googly eyes on. Be sure to let it dry. <laughs> That's a funny face. For my bookmark, I'm going to cover it in lots of stickers. I'm going to decorate my bookmark in rainbow colors with colored pencils. The colors of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Rainbow is my favorite color. Now we're ready to give our bookmark a ribbon tail. Take your hole punch and punch a hole at the top of the bookmark. Slip a piece of ribbon through the hole and glue the ends of the ribbon together. Now I can take a break from reading whenever I want. And not lose your place. Now, cats and kittens, Pandy Paws will attempt to save the place in his book with his brand new bookmark! Bookmark, bookmark, bookmark. Okay, hold still, everyone. Here I go! It works! <laughs> 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 Shimmering sea scales. We've been having so much fun playing in the pool, I lost track of time. I need to get back to making more spa potions. Thanks for playing in the pool with us, Mercat. You're welcome. Oh, I should probably bring my rubber duckies inside. Hmm, where are my rubber duckies? There are so many toys in the pool, it's hard to find them. Pandy and I will help you look, Mercat. Thank you. I have four rubber duckies. Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. <laughs> I found one. Here's another. Oh! Here's number three. That means there is only one more left to find. Do you see the last rubber ducky? It's right over here. We found all four. <laughs> Thanks for your help. See you later. I want to put my pool float away before I go back inside to play some music, but I can't find it. We'll help you, DJ Catnip. What does it look like? It's a pool float shaped like a music note. Let's pull out all the extra floats so we can find it. Shaped like a music note? Here it is. It was fun moving and grooving in the pool, but now I'm gonna boogie on out of here. Let it be noted that you two are awesome helpers. Thanks again. See you later. Bye. Honkin' horns. Here's one of my beach balls. You're looking for beach balls, Carlita? Yep, I brought three. So there should be two more around here somewhere. I see one. Toss it over here, Pandy. I'll 
catch it? Got it! Do you see the last beach ball? It's over here! Thanks for your help! Here you go, Carlita! Great throw, Gabby! See you later! <laughs> <laughs> What's left in the pool, Pandy? Just these two pool noodles! Oh, <laughs> those are mine! They remind me of pipe cleaners! Or spaghetti noodles! <laughs> I can see how they look like both of those things. Mm. Oh, snippets! These are hard to carry by myself. We'll help you carry them back to the craft room, baby box. Thank you! Thanks for helping us find all the pool toys. Look! I grew noodle hair! <laughs> oh, baby! <Pandy. laughs> <laughs> oh. Noodle hair! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! Potastic! <laughs> Yay! Potacular! Going down the dollhouse slide is a catastic way to play. Let's go down the pool slide, too! Great idea, Mercant! Follow me this way to the pool! <laughs> I love pool day! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Shimmering sea scales! <laughs> Woohoo! <gasps> <laughs> wow, you swim really fast, Mercat! <gasps> it's my favorite activity! Just kick your tail, or er, legs, up and down! <laughs> Let's try together, Pandy! Fantastic! Shimmery sea scales! You two are speedy swimmers! Swimming is a meowsing! <laughs> Do you know what would make it even better? Pool games! Yes! Awesome! Did someone say pool games? Hi, Cat Rat! Would you like to play some pool games with us? No thanks, but I'll help as long as I don't get wet. For the first game, we'll take turns going down the slide. Then, we will swim to grab a flag floating in the water. Ooh, me, me, I'll slide down first. Make sure to walk. Water makes the ground slippery. You don't want to fall. Whoops, oh, right. Thanks, Cat Rat. <laughs> Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. I see the flag in the pool! On my mark! Ready, set, go! Yeah! I got it! Your turn, Gabby! I need to kick my legs really fast to reach the flag quickly! Made quite a splash, Gabby! Fish tail five! Woohoohoohoo! <laughs> 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 you each got the flag! Catastic job! Uh, meowsy! <laughs> Hey, what if for our second game, we take turns throwing the ball through the hole of this starfish pool float? Great idea, Gabby! Let's give it a go! Woohoo! Ha-cha! You did it! You try now, Mercat! All right! Another hole in one! <laughs> Yay! Here I go! Aw! I missed! That's okay, Pandy. Why don't you try again? Okay! Yay! Potastic! Great job, Pandy! Oh, I thought of another game! Mermaid Zigzag! We can swim through the pool and tag our friends on the other side! I have a mermaid potion that will give you your own tails! Catastic idea, Mercat! Look at that! Amazing! Acha! Look at that! Mermaids, on your mark! Get ready, set, go! Tag, you're it, Pandy! 
<laughs> go, Mermaid Gabby, go! <laughs> Yay! Phew, those games were lots of fun. I'm tired. Uh-oh, what happened, Cat Rat? It's important to get out of the pool and relax if you're tired. Thanks for looking out for me, Cat Rat. I'll relax in this chair. Ah, playing games in the pool with friends is so much fun. I wish every day was a pool day. Me too. It's a perfect day at the pool when I stay dry. <laughs> <laughs> I love the smell of the garden after a rain. Do you think the rain showers will come back, Gabby? I think they're gone for today, which means we can go for our hike. But what do you think, Kiko? <laughs> Oh, wow! It's a rainbow! You know what that means. This hike is now a rainbow hike. A rainbow hike? What's that? A rainbow hike is when we try to find items in the garden for each color of the rainbow. I'm excited too, Kiko. Do you know all the colors of the rainbow? I know! Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and... Um... And violet! That's a kind of purple. Oh yeah! Violet! Do you see anything in the garden that's red? <laughs> yes! Red apples! Good eyes, Kiko! Now we need to find something orange. Help us look! Do you see anything orange in the garden? That butterfly is orange! Thanks for your help! Red, orange, now yellow! Maybe we can find some yellow flowers! Hmm... <laughs> hmm... Over here, Gabby! These sunflowers are yellow! They also have another color of the rainbow, Pandy! Huh? Oh yeah! Green! The leaves on the sunflower are green! Yes! And look! Those birds are blue! Alright! So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue! Now we need to find something that's the color indigo! Uh -huh. I'm not seeing anything that color. Yet. We haven't found anything that's indigo yet. But let's keep looking. <laughs> Kiko found something. <laughs> Great job, Kiko. That bridge has been painted indigo. Maybe we'll find something violet on the other side of the bridge. That's a fantastic idea, Pandy. Do you see anything in the garden that's violet? Look! Kiko found violet grapes! <laughs> Me yowzers! There's the rainbow! We found all the rainbow's colors in the garden. And we found a rainbow, too. Do you want to go up the rainbow, Kiko? First? I'll rub your heart. And now we can fly! To the top of the rainbow! Look at that! Meowsers! A oh, meowsing! I can't believe we're on top of a real rainbow! Oh, I'm so excited! Let's hike across it and see where we end up! Great idea, Pandy! Let's find out! Terrific! <laughs> Wow, everything looks different on a rainbow hike. Oops, these clouds are blocking our way. Let's try to move them. Can you help us, Kiko? <laughs> uh. Yay! Hi, clouds! clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 
we'll have to slide the rest of the way down the rainbow. Hold no. on. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was awesome! I love rainbow hikes and rainbow slides! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Baby Box! Hi, Pansy! Hi, Gabby! Aw, the hamster kitties look like they're having fun. Yes, they're always looking for places to explore and play in. I'm sure they'd love something new, then. What if we build them a fort? Oh, great idea, Gabby! We can build using craft supplies. Fantastic! Let's see what's in the craft supply box. Uh-oh! It's empty! That's okay, Pandy. There are lots of items in the dollhouse we can reuse for our craft. I have an idea to make our fort. We'll need these supplies. A paper plate, popsicle sticks, four toilet paper rolls, and a piece of old fabric. Cakey should have a paper plate and popsicle sticks. Let's go visit him in the kitchen. Good thinking, Pandy. Let's go. Hi, Cakey. Hey. Hello. Hi, everyone. We were wondering if you have a paper plate and popsicle sticks we could borrow. We'd like to make a craft. We're building the hamster kitties a fort. Sprinkle Riffy, I have a paper plate, but I don't have any popsicle sticks. Oh, snippets. Because I already used them to make these popsicles. Let's eat the popsicles and then you can reuse the sticks. <laughs> Yum! Thanks, Cakey. We'll rinse our popsicle sticks off and use them to build a ladder for the hamster kitties to climb up the fort. Here's the paper plate. I'd love to see the fort when it's finished. Thanks, Cakey. What else do we need, Baby Box? Four toilet paper rolls and a piece of old fabric. Oh, you know, Murkat will probably have the toilet paper rolls to the bathroom! Hi, Murkat! Hi, everyone! Great timing! I just finished dusting off my potion bottles! Possum! We're making a fort for the hamster kitties! Do you have four empty toilet paper rolls we could use? I'm sure I do. But since I'm cleaning at the moment, they could be anywhere. That's okay, Murkat. We can find them together. Do you see any toilet paper rolls? Let's look. Hmm. Hmm. There are two over here. One is up here. Oh, here's another one. Great work! Thanks for your help! Now we just need a scrap of fabric. Will this work? I used it to dust my potion bottles! You can have it! That's perfect, Murkat! Thank you! Now we can make our hamster kitty fort! Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Let's see how the hamster kitties like their new fort! Count with us! One, two, three! three. Here you go, hamster kitties! Very own fort to play in! Oh, they love it! We did it! We searched for supplies and made the fort together! Aw, look at them go! So cute! Oh, they're having so much fun! What if we crafted a fort for ourselves? Great idea, Baby Box! Let's get crafting! <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking this paint color! Just needs a little sparkle here! <laughs> this is so much fun! Look, there's Gabby! Hug a jack! <laughs> Hi, Candy! Hi, everyone! What are you painting? Hi, Gabby! My cupcake cousins are visiting! And everyone wanted to decorate the dollhouse for when they come over. Yeah, and I had the idea to decorate flags and hang them all around the dollhouse. I painted a superhero pickle. See? It looks great. What a fun idea, Pandy. We're painting our flags to show what we like and who we are. Isn't it very amazing? I painted some flowers. What a catastic flag, Kitty Fairy. Can I paint too? Of course, Gabby! I made sure there's enough paint and paintbrushes and a flag for everyone to paint on. 
I painted polka dots on my flag. <laughs> That's super cute, Baby Box. Hmm, I'm not sure what I want to paint. Yet. But maybe looking at what everyone else has painted will inspire me. <laughs> You've painted a book, Pillow Cat. Oh, oh yes. Because I love coodling up with books and telling stories. That's so you, Pillow Cat. I painted shimmering seashells. Do you like it? It's beautiful. And shiny. But you're sure to love my flag. Wow, Cat Rat. I like how you chose to be different by changing the shape of your flag. It fits more Cat Rat this way. <laughs> my sprinkle flag is ready. Nice, Cakey. What did you paint, Carlita? I painted tires because I love how they take me anywhere. Awesome idea, Carlita. I need to let my music flag fly. It's going to boogie in the wind. I'll hang all the flags up on the dollhouse. I've got to work on my flag so I can hang it up, too. We'll help you, Gabby. Thanks, Pillow Cat. But, hmm, I'm still not sure what to paint. Well, you love coodling up in the bedroom to listen to a story with the rainbow curtains closed. Oh, and rainbows! You love rainbows! And all of us! You're right, Pandy. I love rainbows and my friends. Can everyone help me paint my flag in rainbow colors? You got it, Gabby. Pom-poms and polka dots. That's pretty. It's not finished yet. I love rainbows and I love my friends. My friends make every day a catastic adventure. <gasps> oh, thank you, Gabby. We love you too. Now I'm ready to hang my flag. with that. What if we tied the flags to my bumper and I drove around? Then they'd wave in the air. Great idea, Carlita. Yay! Thank you, Carlita. Let's lay the flags out in a line. Okay, they're ready. Here I go. Wow, look at them wave! <gasps> Yay! That's my jam! So shiny! Yay! Whoa. Whoa. Look at them go! <laughs> wow, terrific! Hi, everyone. I'm looking for Pandy. Oh, Pandy Paws, where are you? Do you see Pandy? <laughs> Hug attack! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pandy! I'm glad you're here. Everyone is waiting to play a game with you. A game? Lead the way. Where is everybody, Pandy? They're here. All the Gabby cats are hiding in these boxes. <laughs> the game is for you to guess from clues who is in each box. Guess which Gabby cat is in each box? I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to give it a go. Awesome! Now close your eyes, count to five, and I'll hide in one of these boxes too. The clues are on top of each box. Oh, meowzing. Okay, here goes. Count to five with me. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I love to bake, and every day is a sprinkle party. Oh, I know who this is. It's the dollhouse cupcake cutie. It's Cakey. You got it. Yay. Cakey's rooting for you. Thanks, Cakey. Garden magic comes naturally to me. Can you guess who's inside? I'm going to say it's Kitty Fairy. <laughs> That's me. I like this game. Who's next? Music. 
music is my groove. I play lots of instruments, like the tuba and the xylo sofa. Shout out the answer with me. It's DJ Catnip. All right. Yeah, Gabby. <laughs> Toodle up for this clue. I love reading and acting out all kinds of stories, but most of all, I love taking cat naps. Stories, naps, pillow cat. Me, me, me. I love making crafts. My mama helps me make things sometimes. Hmm, do you think it's Pandy? Of course, it's Baby Box. <laughs> Doodles and doodads. I'm glad you got it right. <laughs> I like shiny things. You can't spell meow without me. Shiny like water. Do you think that's Mercat? I definitely don't like water. Whoops. That's Cat Rat. What gave it away? <laughs> Your voice. My world is full of bubbles, spa science, and shimmering sea scales. Now that's Mercat. Oh, I'm giving you a fishtail five. <laughs> <laughs> Only two boxes left. Anywhere you want to go, I'll take you there. Beep beep, meow meow. Who do you think it is? Is it... Carlita? Vroom vroom! You're almost at the finish line! <laughs> I like pickles, and Gabby is my best friend. Aw, candy paws. <laughs> Huggy Jack! Again! You got all of them right, Gabby! That was an amusing game. Thanks for playing our game with us, Gabby. Thank you for playing, too. See you next time. <laughs> How's your yarn craft coming, Pandy? Good, but I thought I had yellow yarn somewhere. I want to use that to make the sun. I think DJ Catnip has some yellow yarn. I'll go ask him. Huh, I really thought I already had some yellow yarn. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. So this is what Pandy has been up to. Hmm, where is Pandy? Oh, Pandy Buzz! Do you see Pandy? Hug a check! Pandy! You're in there? Yes, I'm all wound up! Here, let me help you get out. Whoa! I'm getting dizzy! We found a lot of yarn that you can use, Pandy! Shimmering sea scales! Oh, snippets! This is a new kind of jam session. A little help here, Gabby. I'll get you all out. <laughs> hmm. There has to be a better way. Oh, my tail is stuck in a tangle of blue yarn. Blue yarn? I have an idea. Mercat, grab onto that blue yarn and don't let go. Okay, Gabby. <laughs> Yes! DJ Catnip, what color of yarn are you stuck in? I'm in some red yarn. <gasps> red? Ooh, I can help too. Great, let's pull together. Wow, you wiggled open a new path for me. Thank you. Mm, there's some purple yarn wrapped around my paws. Hold on to that purple yarn, baby box. <laughs> Doodles and doodads, you did it. Handy, you're next. Whoa! What color yarn are you close to, Pandy? Uh, yellow! It's yellow! All right, everyone, let's pull Pandy out. Let's boogie. Heave ho! We can do it! Woo! Thank you, everyone! And hey! Yellow yarn! Now I can finish my craft! <laughs> That's great, Pandy! But first, hug attack! <laughs> 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 DreamWorks Gabby Stallhouse. Whoa! I love what Kiki's done with the place! Kiki? 
Where are you, buddy? I'm under here. Help! Oh, hang on, Cakey. <gasps> oh, thank you. No problem, buddy. What happened in here? Well, Cat Rat came by with a glitter globe. Then I heard all kinds of silly sounds. The next thing I know, I'm covered in glitter sprinkles. Uh-oh. Cat Rat must have picked up the mixed glitter globe and shook it up. Now my whole kitchen's covered in glitter sprinkles? This is going to take forever to clean up. <laughs> it's okay, Cakey. We'll help you clean this up. <laughs> you will? Of course. Then we'll find Cat Rat and make sure he doesn't shake that thing again. Hey, check out my moves. Sweet sweep style, Bandy. Sweep style? Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm sweeping. In style. Bandy, that's a catastic idea. We can use our sweep styles to clean this kitchen up fast. I have just the thing. Put these sponges on your feet. Oh, boy! Yay! <laughs> Show me, me your sweep style! He shoots, he scores! Sweeping glitter off the floor! Show, Show me your sweep style! Cleaning up can be demanding! Almost done! Gotta stick the landing! Show, Show me your sweep style! Taking clean to the extreme! I'm flipping over the glitter pile! See what I mean? Show me your sweet style! Yes, did it! Oops, sorry! Okay, now we just need to figure out what to do with this giant pile of glitter. Well, we just sweep styled it off the floor. I can't put it on my cookies. <gasps> that gives me an idea. Cookie hair. Now check this out. Meowzer! I love this dollhouse! I think these cookies could use some glitter sprinkles, don't you? The glitter sprinkles stuck to the cookie! You try this one! Ready? Blow! <gasps> so pretty! Alright, to get rid of this giant pile, we're gonna have to all blow together! On the count of three, blow! Count with us. One, two, three, blow! Ooh! Whoa! Sparkly cookie wallpaper? <laughs> it's like a dream come true. Nice job. Oh, these look good enough to eat. Oh, that reminds me. Who wants a cookie? Don't mind if I do. A little snacky for my packy. Yum. Yum. Thanks for cleaning up with me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look, Pillow Cat is already asleep. We all love a good cat nap. Not me. Sleepovers are for staying up late with my friends. Me too. Kitty cats, let's play a game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Yay. I have a game idea. I'll cover my eyes while everyone hides under the blankets. When I touch your blanket, tell me a clue about you and I'll guess who you are. A guessing game. I'm revved up for that. When I'm hidden, you'll never guess me. Ha I'll turn around and count to five. Will you count with me and help me guess? One. Huh? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> two. You can go over here. <laughs> Three. Oh, maybe here? Four. <laughs> five. Found you. Now the question is, who? Wiggly, wiggly, wig. I know who always says that. Do you? It's DJ Catnip. You know it. Wiggly, 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 wiggly. wig. Okay, next one up. This one. Put a pop. Pom on it. Who likes pom poms? <laughs> That's Baby Box. Doodles and doodads. You're so good at this game. Thanks, Baby Box. Okay, let's find out who's under this blanket. Cakey's rooting for you to guess. It's Cakey. Oops, I said my name in the clue. <laughs> <laughs> And who is this lump? Hug attack! 
Someone who loves to hug attack? Let's say his name together. Pansy Paws. Yup. <laughs> Aw, hi, Pandy. There are still a few more Gabby cats. Like this one. If you guess who I am, I'll give you a fishtail five. I know who has a fishy tail. Do you? It's Murcat. <laughs> That's me. And who are you? Whoa, the best at hiding. A covered cat, a master of disguise. Hmm, do you know? Hacha! Oh, I know who it is. That's Cat Rat. The one, the only, the Cat Rat. <laughs> hi! Can't spell hide without hi. Hi, Cat Rat. And who is this? Leaping Lilies, it's me! Leaping Lilies. Hmm, lilies are flowers that grow in a garden. A fairy garden. Who could that be? Do you think she has fairy in her name? Like Kitty Fairy? That is a flower ripping guess. <laughs> There's another lump over there. Okay, mystery guest. Your turn. Hong Kong and Vroom Vroom! Do you know who it is? I think it's Carlita. Yep, you got it! Hmm, is that everybody? I recognize that snore. Still taking a cat nap. Could it be Pillow Cat? <gasps> what? Did I sleep through the game? <laughs> Let's play again. This time I'll be it. Thanks for playing with us. Bye. <laughs> hey. Hi, Baby Box. We're so excited to craft with you today. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Hi, Cat Rat. We're going to have a crafty rip Time. I can't wait to hear what kind of craft you have planned. Today is an extra special day because we are going to choose our craft based on upcycling. Upcycling? What's that? It's making something new out of something used, like this coffee mug. Hmm, but that mug is cracked. That's right, Pandy. But this mug can still be reused for so many things. You could turn it into a pot for a plant or a new craft. I brought a whole box of stuff we can reuse for our crafts. I get it now. Do you have anything shiny? Oh, this plastic bottle could be a rocket ship. Phew, whoosh. If I paint this, it'll be ready to fly in no time. I'm going to paint this egg carton to make another home for the hamster kitties. Whoa, I think they'll like that. Let's get crafting. First, gather up your upcycled materials and painting supplies. I'll start painting my plastic bottle into a rocket ship. It's gonna go straight to the catosphere. Shoo! I'll paint this egg carton purple. The hamster kitties will have fun resting in here. These old buttons were going to be thrown away. I'll paint them yellow and glue them onto the egg carton. Ooh, and since hamster kitties like soft things, I'll take my safety scissors and cut up this old sweater I grew out of. the hamster kitties have cushy little seats. I want my upcycled craft to be a musical instrument. I'll make a banjo. First, I'll string the rubber bands on the lid and tape them down. Then I'll also tape the popsicle stick to the flat surface of the lid and decorate it. I'm drawing on kitty paws. This looks potastic. And it sounds cool, too. Oh, your crafts look great. I need to make mine now by using my imagination. I like your catitude, Cat Rat. 
These rolls remind me of parts of a castle. And I can use this box as the base of my castle. It's perfect for the cat rat. Ha-cha! Our upcycled materials include a box, paper towel rolls, then some tape, paint brushes, and paint. I'm going to paint my castle blue, like me. Then I'll tape the paper towel rolls to the box. I also love this aluminum foil left in the box. Shiny as miny, but how should I use it in my craft? You can make windows with the foil. Or a shiny roof. Or flags on top of the castle. I love all those ideas. Thanks for your help, everyone. Sure. Sure. I finished it. Thanks for teaching us how to make crafts out of reused items, Baby Box. And helping us learn what upcycling means. Thanks, everyone. The hamster kitties seem to love them, too. Oh, so cute. Pandy said to meet here. Oh, Pandy Paws, where are you? <laughs> Do you see Pandy? <laughs> Hug a Jack! <laughs> Whoa! Uh oh. Mud, I'm having an unlucky day. What's wrong, Pandy? Earlier today, I lost my pack, so I went to the garden to cheer myself up and find a kitty dragonfly. But it flew away before I could take a picture. And now I've stepped in mud and gotten dirty. Oh, that's okay, Pandy. You haven't had a very lucky day yet. But we can change that. Okay, what should we do? We'll start with a spa party in the bathroom. Let's go visit Mercat. Great idea, Gabby. To the bathroom. Hi, Mercat. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Oh, shimmering sea scales. Were you two playing in mud? Well, actually, I accidentally fell into a mud puddle, and now I'm all covered in it. Let's get you cleaned up. I just developed a deluxe spa treatment I've been wanting to try out. Wow, perfect timing. You might even say we're lucky. <laughs> spa time! Woohoo! Whoa, look at my fur. It's all clean. It's so soft and shiny. Oh, Pandy, you look great. And I feel possum. Now that you're clean, let's go try to find the kitty dragonfly in the garden and take a picture of it. Do you really think it's still there? There's only one way to find out. Thanks for the spa treatment, Mercat. You're welcome. Good luck in the garden. Yes, that's what we need. Good luck. See you later. Bye. Where could the kitty dragonfly have gone? Do you see a kitty dragonfly? Hmm, I don't see a kitty dragonfly. But what's a banana doing here? Hey, that's my banana from my missing pack. But I don't see my pack. Do you see anything else from your pack lying around? Hey, that's my sandwich. These are all snackies from my packy. Do you see anything else that might have come from Pandy's pack? What's that, Pandy? It's a pickle. It also came from my pack. And that's a pencil. Let's follow the trail. Maybe they will lead to my missing pack. Oh, look. My frisbee. And there's your pack, Pandy. Whoa. Whoa. Meowzers, the kitty rabbit's stuck. Let's help it. It's okay, little kitty rabbit. Aw, I think the kitty rabbit was after my carrot snacks. I must have left my pack in the garden while searching for the kitty dragonfly. And then the rabbit smelled the food inside. Here you go. <laughs> I think the kitty dragonfly is also drawn to the food. Look. Look at that. Oh, boy! I got it on camera! Great job! By losing your pack, you were able to get a picture of the kitty dragonfly. 
Mistakes can sometimes bring wonderful things, too. It's your lucky day after all. It is! Because I have a podtastic friend by my side to help me and comfort me when I'm feeling down. Aw, thanks, Pandy. I'm always here for you. Hug attack! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Baby Box! Oh, hi, Gabby! Hi, Pandy! Hmm, maybe you can help me. Sure! What's up? I want to craft something special for Mama Box to thank her for being such a good mama. But I don't know what to make. You don't know what to make yet, but we'll help. What about a heartfelt card? Then you can write a nice message inside to her. What a crafty terrific idea! She would love a card! Why don't we all make a card for someone who means a lot to us? Awesome! I can't wait to make one! What does Mama Box like, Baby Box? A personalized card is a perfect way to show someone you care. Hmm... Mama Box loves crafting, the kitty rangers, and me! <gasps> oh, I know! I'll make my card in the shape of a kitty face! A kitty card! We'll make kitty cards, too! Let's get crafting! For this kitty card craft, you'll need a pencil, construction paper, safety scissors, glue, and markers. Fold your paper in half. Start at the folded side and draw almost a full circle. You'll need to leave space at the edge when you cut your card so your card can fold. Now, with a grown-up's help, cut the card out with safety scissors. With your extra paper, cut out two triangles to make kitty ears. <laughs> and glue them to your card. Boop. And boop. Now you're ready to draw your kitty face. If you want, you can add glitter, pom-poms, or anything else you'd like. My card is going to look like me. Even the ears look similar. a rainbow kitty card. Its ears, whiskers, eyes, nose, and mouth are all in different marker colors. We made our kitty cards! Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. Now we write our heartfelt message inside the card. Hmm, what should I write to Mama Box? I want my message to rhyme. We'll help you, Baby Box. How do you want it to start? Dear Mama Box, I love you every day. That's great, Baby Box. Now let's think of what the word day rhymes with. Do you know what rhymes with day? Say! Way! Way! Oh, way is a great word, Gabby! It gives me an idea! Dear Mama Box, I love you every day. You're always helping me find my way! <laughs> Fantastic rhyme, Baby Box! Thank you for caring for me. Oh, hmm. What word rhymes with me? Can you think of some words that rhyme with me? C. Tree. We. B. And don't forget Pandy. Of course, Pandy Paws. Oh, thank you for caring for me. You helped me grow and be the best that I can be. Love, Baby Box. <laughs> I did it! I made my message rhyme. Thanks for your help. You're welcome, Baby Box. I already wrote my message in my card. It's for you, Pandy. I made my card for you too, Gabby. You're the best friend ever, Gabby. Thank you for being there for me and giving great hugs. Aw, I love our hugs, Pandy. And I love this card. Hug attack! <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> 
What a heartfelt and crafty rific idea! Now it's your turn! I can't wait to see what kind of kitty card you make! Be sure to give your card to someone you love! Bye! See you later! Bye! Okay, who's ready to bakey with cakey? And make their personalized pizza cat pie? Me! Yummy! Mmm! I can't wait! Hey, what's this? Is this a special topping? That's a special ingredient, Cat Rat! Kitty Fairy gave it to me! It makes everything it touches bigger! Cool! I just want to take a sniff! <coughs> this lid's hard to get off! <coughs> Whoa! That's a big tomato! How are we going to make pizza with all these big ingredients? I know how! Ho oh, ho ho! <laughs> Whoa! Yay! <laughs> We're going to be big, too! Whoa. Oh, it will be fun to be this size for a while! Now we can make our big pizzas! Yay! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Let's start by rolling out our dough into kitty faces! You can also spin and toss your pizza dough in the air to stretch it out! <laughs> Tail flip! What's next, Cakey? Spread out your sauce. I'm using tomato sauce, but you can make whatever sauce you like. White garlic sauce for me. I'll use barbecue. Pesto is perfect for me. I'll smother mine in hot sauce. Hacha! Next, spread a layer of cheese all over and cover with whatever toppings you want to eat. Because we're making pizza cat, we'll make the toppings look like a cat face. Oh, wow! Yummy! No cheese for me, thanks. Ooh! up on the big magic. I hope everyone saved room for dessert. Because surprise, I made dessert pizza. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Cakey. It's so cute. I'll just add some hot sauce to mine. Cat rat. <laughs> <laughs> now that was some spa science. Mercat. Are you all right? I was playing with a ball and it bounced into the dollhouse. I'm good, thanks. I was doing a little spa science when the ball bounced into the house. I felt a little shake and I dropped my potion. Ooh, what kind of potion? Oh, a mix and match potion. I think the dollhouse got mixed. Look. <gasps> Where did my mirror table go? What's going on? I was playing with Carlita sliding down the slide in the playroom and now I'm in a tub? 
No one told me this was a water slide. I dropped my potion, Cat Rat, and it caused the dollhouse to get all mixed up. Hi, everyone. The strangest thing just happened. What is it, Kitty Fairy? I was watering my flowers, and they just poof, disappeared. Oh, Bubbles, more mix-up from the mix and match potion. Here, this potion is just a match potion. It will put the dollhouse back in order. Let's give it a go. Let's check out the other rooms to see what else is mixed up in the dollhouse. Bye. See you later. See you later. Whoa! Hey, flowers! Get ready to wiggle those stems! We found Kitty Fairy's flowers! Hi, DJ Catnip! The flowers would love to hear some music, but right now, they need to get some sun and get back to Kitty Fairy. Anytime they need to rock their petals, just let me know! <laughs> Let's get you all back to the garden! Still need to find Murcat's mirror table. Let's go check all the other rooms. This isn't a mirror table. This is Baby Box's craft table in Pillow Cat's bedroom. That is a mix up. When did this get here? Hi, Baby Box. We're helping get all the items back to their places. The dollhouse was mixed up by one of Murcat's potions. Now to match the mirror and table with the room it belongs in. The bathroom. Let's check the kitchen next. Everything looks normal. We fixed it all. That's great to hear. I was about to box up this pie. Pillow, Pillow cat. cat. Oh, did I sleep through story time? Why am I sleeping in Cakey's kitchen? You didn't miss story time, but you missed a mixed up dollhouse afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to come back in. Hi, Murcat. What are you up to? Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. I'm trying to get my rubber duckies to return from their swim in the ocean. They're having so much fun. But it's time to come home. We'll help you gather the duckies. Yeah, I've never herded rubber duckies before. But let's give it a go. Hey, my duckies are fast swimmers. To find them, I think you're going to need the help of one of my new potions. <laughs> Whoa, a mermaid tail. Fishtail five! Awesome! <laughs> Let's go collect those rubber duckies. Yeah! Mermaid Gabby and Mer Pandy, this is exciting! I'll come too. Dive in, everyone! Whee! <laughs> I'm flipping for this new tail! How many rubber duckies do we need to find, Mercat? Three! There's one! Oh no! I'm stuck! Is that better, Pandy? Ooh, yeah, thanks. We have one rubber ducky. And here's the second one. Hmm, now where's the third? I need to time this right in order to bring this rubber ducky home. Open, closed, open, closed, open. Hi, ducky. The last one. Now let's go home safe and sound. You had quite the sea adventure, didn't you? Here, ducky, you can swim in the tub. This potion will turn you back. I'm back to me with legs. I'm back to Pandy with legs, which helps me do this. Hug attack! Oh, Pandy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kitty Fairy. Hey. Hello. Hey, Kitty 
Rangers. I'm so glad you could come. Of course. The Kitty Rangers are ready to help with any task. I've been so busy lately, and I could really use some help in the garden. I made a checklist of some plant and insects I want to make sure are taken care of. It's a garden checklist. Yes. Do you think you'll be able to complete these tasks? The Kitty Rangers have it covered. Flowerific! Thank you! See you later! Podcast! <laughs> Kitty Rangers! Woo! Meow, 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 meow! The first item on the checklist is to water the apple tree. Whoa, there's a lot of fruit trees here! Which one is the apple tree? Hmm. Here's the apple tree! And here are some watering cans! Horrific! <laughs> there! The water will help it grow big and strong! Awesome! What's next on the list? Kitty Fairy would like us to look after the glitter butterfly! It loves to be pet and scratched under the chin! Hmm, I don't see a glitter butterfly anywhere! Where could it be? Pom poms and polka dots! Look at all this glitter on the ground! That must be a trail left by the Glitter Butterfly Baby Box! Let's follow it! Oh, Snippets! The trail stopped! That's because the butterfly is over our heads! Hi, Glitter Butterfly! <laughs> How are you doing? Would you like to be pet? <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> Meowzing! I love your sparkle, Glitter Butterfly! <laughs> Only one more item on the list. We need to find and play peekaboo with the peekaboo plant. Hmm. Do you see it, Candy? I'm not sure what to look for, but I can't find it! Yet! We haven't found it yet, but let's keep looking. How's it going, Kitty Rangers? Good! We're trying to find the peekaboo plant. Oh, yes! The peekaboo plant is very shy, but it likes to come out when it hears you playing peekaboo. It's favorite game. Use these as blindfolds to play the game. You're doing very amazing. Okay, let's play peekaboo. 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 Hmm. Did that do anything? Let's all three play peekaboo at the same time. You can play with us. Cover your eyes and then peek out and say peekaboo. On the count of three. One, two, three. Peekaboo! Gardentastic! <gasps> you found a peekaboo plant. Check it off your list. We completed the checklist. Yay! Congratulations, Kitty Rangers. Here's a garden badge for each of you. Terrific! Yay! Woo! Aw, I think it wants to play again. Peekaboo! <laughs> Thanks for helping us, Kitty Rangers. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Cupcakes in the box. Pie in the box. Cake. Cake? Oh, sprinkles! I forgot to decorate this cake! Hi, Cakey! Can we help you bring the treats to Mercat's spa party? Gabby! I forgot to decorate the cake! We can help with that! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy! Okay, let's decorate! We want to make the cake look like a beach! An ocean theme? Mercat's gonna love that! How can we get started? We need to dye some of this white icing blue, like ocean water! Is this the right blue? Yeah, that's my food coloring. Pour it in the color and mix it in. You can decorate a cake like this too. We'll show you how. First, set out all your ingredients. Scoop some white icing out and save for later. Then squirt the blue food coloring and stir into the icing until it's all mixed in. <laughs> Spread the blue icing all over your cake. So it will look like the ocean? You got it. Next, 
You'll need a jar of blue edible glitter. <laughs> What's that for? To give the ocean shimmer and sparkle. This shimmers like Mercat sea scales. <laughs> what? You have blue icing on your ear. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> now we make sand-colored icing with yellow dye to make it really look like a beach. Oh no, I don't have yellow. How are we going to make our cake look like a sandy beach? <laughs> That's okay, Cakey. We haven't figured it out yet. Let's have a look around and see what you have that we could use instead. Let's check the fridge. Hmm, cucumbers, carrots. A jar of leftover pizza sauce. Hey, what's that on top of the fridge? Graham crackers. Ooh, mashed up graham crackers could be our sand. How do we make them into sand? We put them into a bag and squish them into crumbs. Are you ready to squish with us? Make sure your bag is sealed shut. Then squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish. <laughs> squish and scrunch. Squish, squish and scrunch. Once it's crumbly like sand, sprinkle it on one side of the cake. Just a few more ocean touches. Let's use the leftover white icing to make waves in the blue water icing. And then we can add a little paper umbrella decoration. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's beachiful. Whew. Thank you for helping me. Kiki, do you have any cucumbers for the spa party? I ran out of cucumber slices for our eyes. Oh, this looks like my favorite beach. Surprise, Mercat! A wave of applause for another fabulous dessert creation. It looks like Mercat's favorite beach and tastes like sweet sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby, Pandy, good morning. Thanks for coming to help me. What do you need help with, Cakey? <sighs> yeah, so early in the morning? It's a breakfast surprise to thank everyone for taste testing my recipe. Will you help me bake toast, eggs, and pancakes before everyone wakes up? I took a while making sure I had all the ingredients, and now I'm running out of time. I love breakfast, and a breakfast that's a surprise is fantastic. We're glad to help you, Cakey. Where do we start? With flipping eggs sunny side up. Like this? Yes, great flip. Pandy, can you mix the pancake batter in this bowl with this whisk? You got it. I'm a whiz at whisking. Meowsers! Maybe a little too much whisking? That's okay. Messes happen in the kitchen. We can clean it up later. For now, let's keep mixing. Here, Pandy, I have more batter. Try again. Let's all three whisk together. Whisk it around and around. Whisk it with this sound. I'm keeping it in the bowl now. Can you set the table with 10 plates, Gabby? Of course. Okay, Pandy. The pancakes are ready to flip. I've got this. Whoopsie. Let me try again. Oh, no. I can't see with the pancake on my head. Oh, no. I'll get another mixing bowl. Hmm, ten plates. But count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten plates. What's that noise? What's that? Let's finish up. It's almost breakfast time. Pandy, can you flip the last pancake? Are you sure? 
The last one's flipped away from me. Remember the saying, keep, keep baking, baking till it's better. better. Yeah, Cakey's rooting for you. <laughs> Woohoo! I did it! <laughs> Great job! I'll put the pancakes on the plate. Gabby, can you grab the syrup and jelly from the fridge? Sure. I'll help! Toast is ready! We did it! Look at that! Twinkle and high pools! Mmm, mmm, yum! Glitterific! Hi, everyone! Mmm, it smells yummy in here! I thought I heard a noise! That's because we were making breakfast as a big thank you for taste testing all my recipes! A breakfast surprise! Aw, shimmering sea scales, thank you! Oh no, I forgot the butter in the fridge. I'll get it. Oh, looks like I got a breakfast surprise of my own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I don't see it in here. Whee! Hi, Gabby and Pandy. What are you looking for? Gabby can't find her kitty camera. Oh, what's that? It's a picture of Cat Rat. He must have my camera. That looks like the craft room. Maybe Cat Rat is there. Let's go look. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Hi, Carlita. I just decorated all these pictures of us together on one page. Look, there's me. There's Cat Rat again. But in this picture, he's in a different room. He's next to a blue kitty lamp. Pillow Cat's bedroom. To the bedroom. I'll come too. Great! Hi, Pandy! Hey! Hello! Oh, hi there! Hi, Gabby! Hi, Pillow Cat! We're looking for my camera, and we think Cat Rat has it because we found two pictures with him taken on it. Hmm, let's look. Nothing here. No photos in here. Do you see a photo anywhere? Oh, I found the photo! Thanks! Hmm, in this photo, Cat Rat is surrounded by... bubbles? He must be in the bathroom! Hi, Murcat! Oh, hi there! Hey! Shimmering sea scales! Did I forget about a spa party? We're looking for my camera, and we think Cat Rat has it. Did Cat Rat leave any photos behind? I don't know! Let's all look! No photos in here. Hmm, nothing here. Did Cat Rat leave a photo in the tub? Woohoo! It's right next to the tub. Ooh, Cat Rat's standing in front of something very colorful. That's the wallpaper in Kiki's kitchen. You're right. Okay, team, let's go. This is going to be so delicious for your music party! Yes! I can already tell my taste buds are gonna boogie! Hi, everyone! What a sweet surprise! Hi, Cakey! Hi, DJ Catnip! We're looking for Gabby's camera, and we think Cat Rat has it! He's left a photo in every room, and this is the last room, so we're close to finding both! I'll help search! Cakey's rooting for ya! I'm about to put my cake in this box, then I'll help out too! Did Cat Rat leave a photo? <laughs> Do you see a photo anywhere? Found something. Here, Gabby. It's dark. It's hard to tell where Cat Rat is. Wait a minute. Cat Rat, is that you? Correct. <laughs> you found Cat Rat. <laughs> Pretty neat game, huh? Yeah. We had an amusing time working together to find you. You can't spell a meowsing without me. <gasps> Let's take a photo with all the Gabby cats. Follow me. Kitty fairy, come join us for our group photo. Leaping lilies, here I come. <laughs> what is it, Gabby? Looks like Floyd wanted to be in the picture too. <laughs> Hi, 
cat rat. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. Check out this paper mailbox I taped together for Baby Box's craft show. I went to the different rooms of the dollhouse for design inspiration. See? Is the drawing of the cupcake inspired by the kitchen? Yes! I drew a music note for the music room and a slide for the game room. That looks awesome! We already dropped our crafts off. We'll see you at the show? Yeah, see you there. Let's see if Katie needs help bringing snacks for the craft show. Great idea, Gabby! Uh-oh, I'm stuck! I've stepped on tape and can't move! Tape? Cat Brad must have left some tape behind while making his craft. Mm, uh, whew! Thanks, Gabby! Help! Help! Let's go help Cakey! Help! I'm stuck to the floor! Hi, Cakey! We'll get you unstuck! Woo! Thank you! More tape! Cat Rat accidentally left tape behind while making his craft. He was in here drawing on his paper mailbox. He said he was going to the music room next. Uh, could any cat lend a helping hand? Oh no! I think DJ Catnip also is stuck. Let's go. I'll see you at the craft show. I'm bringing cookies. Ooh, yum! To the music room. Hey, Gabby. Hey, Pandy. It seems like some tape has stopped my groove. We're here for you, DJ Catnip. Thank you. Oh, no. Didn't Cat Rat draw one more image on his mailbox? Hmm. Let me think. Oh, it was a slide. The game room. That's the last room that Cat Rat visited. Let's go check on Carlita. To the game room. Carlita! Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. My wheel seems to really be stuck on something. It's like I drove into a mound of mud. We'll give you a push. Honking horns, I'm free! Thank you! Now we can go to the craft show. <laughs> Woohoo! This is fun! Hey, cool cats! Look at that! Yay! Fantastic! <laughs> Welcome to the craft show! Hey, what took you so long? We were helping others get unstuck from tape left on the floor. Who would leave tape? Oh, oopsie! Oh! Wow, Mercat, I love your paper boat! Ah, <sighs> thanks, Gabby. But it ripped a little while I was playing with it before the craft show. Some tape will patch up your boat. <gasps> That's a whale of an idea, Cat Rat. Ha-cha! There, tape came in handy here. <gasps> Thank you, Cat Rat. Cat Rat, look, you have mail. It's a letter. You are such a creative and helpful friend from Gabby. Ha ha ha, thanks Gabby. It's good to see my mailbox in action. Anyone else want to send a letter? Feel free. Oh, cat rat. <laughs> <laughs> Once we make our superhero capes and superhero masks, we'll be ready to fly. Yeah, super pandy to the rescue. And I've got super bubbles. Like I always sing, when you're stuck and you've got trouble, bubble, bubble, bubbles. And Super Baby Box will craft our way out of any problem. Okay, how do we make the capes and masks? Let's get crafting! First, use your safety scissors and cut towards the top of your cape on each of the long sides of the fabric. Then, cut half a circle out at the top of the cape. That's how you can fit it behind your neck. Now put a piece of sticky Velcro on each side. For your mask, cut out the shape you want. First, draw out your mask. I'm doing a rectangle shape. Use safety scissors to cut out your mask. Then, cut out the two circles for your eyes. Then, 
hole punch a hole on each side of the mask. Knot some elastic. Thread it through the holes. And you're done! We did it! I made my cape and mask pink. I chose orange for mine. I went with the color green for my costume. And my cape and mask are blue. Now we're ready to save the day. Shimmering sea scales, that was quite a breeze. Is everyone okay? Yeah, just blown around is all. Our superhero costumes got jumbled up. Well, let's sort them out. We can do it. There's your green cape, Murkat. Super. Now where could my green mask be? Do you see Meerkat's green mask? There it is! Spotacular! Thanks for your help! I found the orange and blue capes. Whee! <laughs> the pink mask is mine, so the blue mask is for... Me! I made a blue costume! I remember now! Baby box, you found my pink cape! I did? Oh yeah, I guess I did. I'm still missing my orange mask. Let's look! Mm, not here. Hmm, if I were an orange superhero mask, where would I be? Look, up on the ceiling! Of course, up high, flying like a superhero. It must have gotten some glue on it and got stuck. I can't reach it. I can't be a superhero without my mask. What? No, you are super, Pandy. We all are. Let's get that mask. But how? We built some stairs. Grab a box. And then we flip them over and stack them up and get that mask. <gasps> we have a superhero mission now. <laughs> Crafting is the work of superheroes. All ready. Here I go. Super Pandy is back in action! Thanks, fellow superheroes, for your help! The superheroes save the day again! Let's suit up! Yay! Yay! We have some super friends, yeah. don't we? Hi, Pillow Hi, Cat! Pillow Cat! Hey, everyone! What story are we going to hear today, Pillow Cat? It's called Gabby and the Beanstalk! Let's get changed in the dress-up closet. I wonder what I'll wear. Hi, dress-up closet. May we come in? There's the hat I'm looking for. Ta-da! Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm ready to grow a beanstalk. Ho-ho! <laughs> Wait for me! Ha-cha! All right, everyone, koodle up! This is the story of Gabby and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, Gabby and Pandy tended to their garden, hoping to grow lots of vegetables. No matter how much we water, our plants aren't growing, Gabby. Let's keep trying. What should we plant next? How about some beans? Beans? Uh, not just any beans. Magic cloud beans. Wow, never heard of those before. Let's give it a go. How long do we have to wait for them to grow? Whoa! Whoa, what's going on? You just grew a magic beanstalk. Come on! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Catastic! Woohoo! You can jump right on the clouds. 
They're garden clouds, and they hold all kinds of things like cloud carrots. <laughs> Whoa! That came from the cloud! Cloud gardens make delicious veggies. Cloud celery? It's so fresh! <gasps> and cloud cucumbers! Pick as much as you want! But little did they know, there was a giant cloud bunny! Hey, those aren't yours! You're right. Could we trade you something for them? Trade? Have you ever had veggie noodle soup? Hmm, veggie noodle soup? It's so delicious with all the flavors in one bowl. We'd love to make you some. Yeah, we'd love to make you some. Veggies and noodles? A taste sensation. Soup it is. <laughs> we didn't have a bowl big enough for you, giant cloud bunny. So you get to have yours from a giant pot. <laughs> This isn't just veggie noodle soup. It's cloud veggie noodle soup. What do you think of the soup, giant cloud bunny? Cloud veggie noodle-tastic! <laughs> <laughs> and the giant cloud bunny let Gabby, Pandy, and Cakey pick all the cloud vegetables they wanted and help them grow vegetables in their own garden, too. The end. What was that? Oh, that was me. Carrot, anyone? Oh, yes. Yum. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thanks, mm. Cat Rat. Hi, it's Kitty Fairy. This is a surprise game of telephone. The way you play is you listen to my story once and remember as much of it as you can. Gabby is going to tell the story to Pandy and tell him to keep going until everyone has heard and said the story. Then, they'll all meet up in my fairy garden at the end of the game to hear the final version of the story and hear how much it's changed. Ready? What's that? Oh, boy. It's a kitty recorder. Ooh, I'm ready for the game of telephone story. Here's the story. Once upon a time, there was a blue flower who decided to go on an adventure outside of the garden. They traveled all the way to the ocean to play in the sand and collect seashells. The end. All right, now I need to find Pandy. Oh, Pandy Paws, where are you? Have you seen Pandy? <laughs> Hug attack! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pandy. I have a story to tell you. It's for a game called Telephone. Telephone? I'm about to tell you a story, and then you have to remember it as much as possible and find someone else to tell it to. Okay, let's hear it. Hmm, let me think. Oh, yeah. Once upon a time, a red flower went on an adventure outside Kitty Fairy's garden. They journeyed to the ocean and collected seashells. Oh, and if you listened to the seashells, you could hear the waves of the ocean. The end. Whoa, that's a horrific story. Now, who am I going to tell it to? Ooh, I know. Cakey is baking in the kitchen. I'll go tell him. <laughs> Hi, Cakey. You want to play a game? Yes, I just finished baking these muffins. It's the telephone game. Oh, yes, the telephone game Kitty Fairy was telling me about. Yay! Please tell me the story, Pandy. Once upon a time, there was a yellow flower who wanted to go to the ocean, so they packed up all their snackies in their packy. They like to eat pickles. They went to the sea and collected seashells. Seashells play the sound of the ocean in them. And that's it. The end. Now you should go tell Cat Rat. See you later. All right. Did somebody say my name? Oh, hi, Cat Rat. It's a story Kitty Fairy told us to pass down. All right, let's hear it. Once upon a time, there was a pink flower who ate pickles. They took a green smoothie out of their packy and slurped it. They finally made it to the ocean and collected seashells that played the sound of the ocean. The end. That's it? That's it. Meerkat is next. Once you tell her, come meet us in Kitty Fairy's Fairy Garden. You got it. It's story time. Cat rat style. Okay. 
Once upon a time, there was a purple flower who drank a pickle smoothie as they journeyed to the ocean to collect seashells. They rode on a pirate ship to reach all the beaches to find all the shells. But along the way, a giant thunderstorm hit. They weathered the storm and safely made it back home with all their seashells. The end. What a stormy adventure. That's the story word for word. Find Pillow Cat, tell her the story, and then meet us in the fairy garden for the big finale. Great, Pillow Cat loves telling stories. And then they rode on a pirate ship to visit all the beaches to find all the shells. But along the way, a giant thunderstorm hit. Is that the whole story? There is one more thing, actually. The flower weathered the storm with the help of singing mermaids, who later gifted a treasure chest full of seashells that if you put them up to your ear, you can hear the ocean. And that's the end. That's a lot of story to remember. Cat Rat said everyone was waiting in the garden to hear the final story. I'll try and remember everything until we get there. There they are! Hey! Hello! Hey guys, Hello Cat. What's the final story? It's a good one. Once upon a time, there was an orange flower who drank a pickle smoothie as they journeyed to the ocean to collect seashells. They rolled on a pirate ship to land on all the beaches to find all the seashells. But along the way, a giant thunderstorm hits. The flower weathered the storm with the help of singing mermaids who later gifted them a treasure chest full of seashells. That if you put the seashells up to your ear, you can hear seagulls. The end! Leaping lilies, what a wonderful story! It's different, but it turned out great. Every story needs pirates! <laughs> Hi, Kiki! Hi, Gabby! Hi, Pandy! Hi, Cat Rat! We got your note to meet you in the kitchen. What's up? I'm glad you're here, because today is a super special day. It's not my birthday. So what very special day could it be? It's pie day. Mm-mm, I love pie. Not that kind of pie, Pandy. Pie is a number that goes on forever and never ends. To celebrate it, we're going to make a bunch of different pies, ones we can actually eat. That sounds amazing. How do we start? There's pie crust in each dish. They just need to be filled. Can I make an apple pie? You sure can. I'll fill a strawberry pie. I'll make a pie in my favorite color, blue. What kind of pie can Cat Rat make with blue fruit? A blueberry pie. Mmm, <laughs> that sounds delicious, Cat Rat. And I'll make a peach pie. Kiki, can we make our pies look like kitty faces? That's a great idea, Gabby. Let's bake you with cakey. First, fill your pie with your filling. Apples, strawberries, blueberries, peaches, or whatever you like. Then, cover your pie with a dough circle. You can pinch the top to make kitty ears. And use a tool to draw kitty faces in the dough. The kitty faces in the pies are potastic. Now, let's put these in the oven to bake. That was so much fun. Can we make more? Of course. That's what pie day is for. All we have to do is think of more pies to make. Hmm. Oh, I know one. A chocolate pie. That's a great idea, Cat Rat. Hmm. I'm having trouble thinking of another pie. No problem, Pandy. We can help. Let's think together. Yeah. Hmm. What about a pie you can have for dinner? Yes, with lots of sauce on it and cheese. Sauce? Cheese? Do you know? <gasps> a pizza pie. Great thinking, Pandy. And here's another pie. Fill it with meat and veggies. Hmm, a pie with meat and veggies. Is it a chicken pot pie? That's right. And I already have all the ingredients prepared to pour into our pie dishes. 
Let's give it a go! To make a chocolate pie, use sugar, cocoa powder, eggs, butter, and evaporated milk to make a chocolate mixture. Then, pour it in the pie and bake. For pizza pie, add sauce and cheese. And don't forget the kitty ears. Then place the pepperoni to make a kitty face. For chicken pot pie, spoon in the chicken and veggie mixture. Cover the pie with dough so you can pinch the top to make ears. Wow, we made so many catastic pies! Now that they've cooled from the oven, we can share them with everyone else! Wait, Cakey, do we have time to make one more pie? Sure, Pandy! What did you have in mind? It's one we haven't made yet! The worms in the garden would love! Come on! I wonder what that could be! <laughs> there you are, Pandy! What kind of pie did you make for the worms? <laughs> it's a kitty mud pie! <laughs> that is a pie too, isn't it? Whoa, we can't eat it! But I'm sure the worms will enjoy that! Yes! Now we really made all the pies for Pie Day! Woohoo! <laughs> Look! A worm! That worm's enjoying your pie! <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, kitty cats! Who's ready to get their groove on? I am! But what music lesson are we going to learn today, DJ Catnip? Well, it's not a music lesson. It's a surprise karaoke party! A surprise? Meowzer! What's karaoke? That's when you sing the lyrics to a song. I've got all our favorite songs saved. Let's kick this karaoke party off with The Music in You! Follow along with the words and sing with us. Gonna help you find you. And I'm gonna remind you. When the music in you is unstoppable. Anything is possible. Gonna help you find a groove. In everything that you do. That was catastic, DJ Catnip! Do you want to sing next? Sure! Can you play my favorite song, Hey Gabby? I'd like to sing that. Follow along with the words and sing with me. Hey Gabby! Hey Gabby Cat! Play it in the dollhouse! Yes, you will! Hey Gabby! Let's do this! Let's show them how! Why don't you go next? Uh, okay. I think I want to sing the song Living in the Meow. You got it. Oh, I missed my cue. Ah, uh, maybe someone else should sing. Just feel the music, Pandy. You got this. We're here cheering you on. But I don't remember how to sing it all. That's okay, Pandy. Practice makes better. Yeah, you're right. Here it comes! Living in the meow, meow, meow Living in the meow Let's get dressed up, make our own movie When I'm with you, it's all too different. Living in the meow, meow, meow Living in the meow Penny pop up, penny pop up Penny pop up, pop up, ooh, ooh The penny pop up, penny pop up But fun! You did a meowzing! And last but not least to sing, it's me! Play my favorite song, DJ! Firing it up right now! Let's hear it, Cat Rat! Hey. 
This is a ditty about a kitty divine. He puts the me and me out. So ahead of his time. The bravest, most heroic cat the world's ever seen. Spoiler alert, it's me. <laughs> me. Spell me out without me. Ow! Well, that's it. No song is gonna top that one. Oh, Cat Rat. We all got to do something we don't normally do today. Everyone had great catitude. Meow for kitty karaoke. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cakey, what's cooking? Hi, Gabby. Hi, Pandy. I'm reading a recipe book, and there are so many treats I want to make. What about a smoothie or a pizza? Mmm, so many options to choose from. Pillow Cat is about to tell a story. We came to see if you want to listen with us. Ooh, I love story time. Hi, Gabby. Hey. Hi, Pandy. Hey. Hi, Cakey. Hello. Toodle up. Cakey. We have a special story for you. It's about the discovery of a house made of gingerbread. Hmm, what's going on in here? Hey, Cat Rat, we're going into the story called to discover a gingerbread house. I want to play, too. Coodle up, Cat Rat. Let's yeah. go. Yay! Let's go. Once upon a time, Gabby and Pandy were adventuring in the woods when they came upon a gingerbread house. The owner of the house, Cakey, was trying to fix a hole in his gingerbread roof. Oh, it, it's me. Mmm, your gingerbread house smells amazing, Cakey. Hey, what's that? Oh, Pandy, there's a hole in the roof of my gingerbread house, and it's leaking frosting. I keep patching the hole with the marshmallow, but every time I check on it, the marshmallow is gone. Oh, ah. it's okay, Cakey. <laughs> ah. Yep, there's the hole. Cat Rat? Hey, Gabby. Cat Rat, is that a marshmallow you're nibbling? I found it on top of the roof, just waiting to be eaten. This marshmallow is mine, but the whole house is made of sweets, so there's plenty to go around. Cakey needs the marshmallow to fix his roof, Cat Rat. Marshmallows are yummy. Oh, why don't we have hot cocoa and marshmallows? We can all share the big marshmallow, and I'll pat the roof with something else. Mmm, marshmallows and cocoa. Thank you. We'll, we'll help, help patch, patch the roof. roof. Oh, yeah, me too. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and they all drank cocoa with marshmallows in the gingerbread house. The end. <gasps> hey, who wants to make gingerbread houses? Great idea, Cakey. Will there be marshmallows? <laughs> yes. Everyone, come on. Let's bakey with Cakey. Podtastic. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> we did it! <laughs> Bob Bump! <laughs> it looks just like the gingerbread house from the story. It's dreamy! And you know what comes next? We get to eat it! Oh, my favorite part! Can I eat the marshmallows? Woohoo! Ha, 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 ha,